So first you want to work the center with little triangular shapes and then stipple, which means little dots, some shadows in around those so that the pointed edges pop, contrast. You can do more of that later. Then you'll take and outline the petals first. Remember that flowers are not perfectly shaped and symmetrical. So you want to embrace that irregularity. You can lay down these flowers with pencil first, like I did. I found that using a darker lead, like a 2B or 3B pencil, with light pressure works best because you can erase those lines without it making indentions in the paper, especially on Bristol board, which I'm using right now. I'm using a Micron 3 pen. All right, so when you get all of your petals outlined, then you can go into shading, hatch marks, and then lines that will define the shape of each petal. So here's some shading hash marks. And then those defining lines. Anywhere where a petal overlaps another petal or a leaf, that's where you're going to want to put the shading. And if a petal doesn't overlap anything, you don't want shading unless there's a fold in the petal. And the more realistic you want it to look, the more important it is to look at an actual flower or picture while you are drawing. And there you have it.